Okay. For the lack of a better option, I'm actually going to do post commentary with this game since it gets all crackly doing it other ways. So, I'm just doing what you're doing. I'm just going to watch me play and I'll just commentate over that. That should work out. And we could see if, if, if either that is an option or I could just go back to the 80s filter that this game apparently puts on my microphone. But welcome back to more Crossing Souls. Previously, we, uh, we went through the rest of the town. And we met all of the places and all of the things. Like the Invaders Arcade. We fixed it. And we didn't play a single game in it. Also, uh, Long John. Long John has some problems with rats the size of medium to large dogs. We're gonna have to talk about them later. Oh yes, and we have Big Joe. Who does big things. But we need, the, we need the rest of our people. We need the rest of our group to get together here. So we gotta press on. The fruits are handled, the secrets are found, the school is closed, because it's summertime. Yay! Oh, these losers. I saw them before. I didn't want to interact with them. But the prince is here. AKA Quincy Queen. My, my headphones are acting up. There we go. You know, kid adventures. Chris, do you know these guys? Us. I think they're calling us the losers. Punch him out, Joe! Oh, we spent plenty of time talking to everybody else in this town. Nah, he was right the first time. I don't want to deal with Quincy Queen, the Prince wannabe. He has a song. It's called Magenta Rain. He leads the gang. King and Queen? Um, is that okay in the 80s? Is that okay? He's all gangly looking. Look at him. Chris isn't the cool squad now. He doesn't need these guys. What's their names again? The Purple Smells? Oh, that, that struck a nerve. Well, it's time for a gang fight. Go get him, Matt! I was expecting Chris to be in combat, but it switched over to Matt immediately. Holy crap, Joe! Uh, but you're not supposed to hit a girl, Chris. You're not supposed to hit a girl like that. But holy moly, Big Joe's got a big punch. That guy stood no chance. I guess his father is like an old boxer. I didn't read his bio. But now we're going to have to deal with purple skulls. They're like the sharks. They're like the sharks. Except they're purple and they're skulls. Quincy Queen grew up in the heart of California's murkiest slum. One rule is clear. You're either with us or you're with the fishes. Influenced by glam culture. So that's where he got the whole persona thing from. Public enemy number one in Tajunga. Why aren't the cops dealing with this? Jeez. So, it's about to be culturally inappropriate in here. Because everybody knows California is very popular for the rednecks hanging out outside the town, right? I'm going to save in slot 2 just in case. I'll tell you I'll tell you right now since I am from the future. I'm going to be wishing I saved more often. 
Alright, I was just, uh, I was just pulling up my notes real quick to see what secrets are still left in this chapter. There's a few left. But, yeah! Welcome to Rednecks. I don't feel welcome to Rednecks. That's okay, it's less of a mess now. We're cleaning up for them. Okay, very good, Brandine. Very nice. Let's not talk to her again. Best, best leave him to what, Chris? Best leave him to what, Chris? What's he doing? Bobby J. Wait a second, what's the, the name of the other one? Is it Jobby Bay? Bobby Joe, okay. Hi! You got a ponderous mullet. Who are you again? Ray's niece, Ed's brother. Chris, you're related to Redneck? Uh, no, we, no, we got a Kevin. Okay. I'll, like I said, it's a little culturally insensitive in here. I took out your garbage. Literally, I took out your garbage. Let's not attack the rats. Rats are friends around here. America! Peck yeah! I don't think a goat would be smiling in that situation. I don't think a goat would be smiling in that situation. Can goats even smile? I'll have to ask Ralsei. Okay, that's modern. Good point there, Chris. Good point. Talk to Jim the second. Who's Jim the second? Who's the second Jim? So Charlie lives in a place like this. A mobile home. You've got a problem with being poor, Matt? You know, it's a home that is mobile. I'm not being insensitive. Hey, Charlie! Oh, we should keep that. Yeah, that guy's got a mullet going on, too. Oh, my. He's trouble, isn't he? It's that old chestnut. The drunk father and his teenage daughter. It's smaller on the, ins on the outside than it is on the inside, apparently. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Yep, he's drunk. And he doesn't have a mullet, he's got mutton chops. This is worse. I think the, the danger level has increased. The redneck danger level. You? Maybe you should, you know, clean up your life a little bit. See a therapist, maybe? Yep, it's it's that it's that dynamic. It's that dynamic. This is definitely an 80s movie made into a video game. What ammonia actually does that to hair? I thought it turns it white. Or was that only chlorine? You already know Big Joe, because Big Joe punched you out during a drunken rant. Also, he has boxing tips for you. And alcohol tips, apparently. Oh, he's definitely practicing. Did you see what he did to that punk's jaw? Do we get to beat him up? Is he easily like our first boss?
A bunch of wussies. Yeah, power in numbers. Charlie, 80s men are talking. You know how the 80s are. Are you are you gonna throw down with her dad? Are you gonna throw down with all the rednecks in this valley? What's going on here? I think I called it a little too accurately. Blondie, Blue Top, and Butterfists. They'll give you a heart attack. That's why how he dropped that one guy. Against Rub, Chicken Head, someone else, and Cletus. I did the same Cletus, um. The same Cletus we just talked to? The guy that wanted to hang out with a sister? It's a redneck rumble! Don't worry, I have science. They're scared of that. Go, Mac, go! Oh, he's guarding himself against lasers. That ain't... How does that work? The bully versus the nerd. Epic battle of epic proportions. Come on, punch at me again. Yeah. Receive lasers and I hope he's not dead. I really hope he's not dead. We're not killing rednecks, are we? Matt's winded already. How are you getting winded shooting a laser beam? Okay, Chris is up the bat. He can non-lethally use his baseball bat, right? At least Chris has a less fair fight. You got those crazy kids and the bullies. Nothing can stop Pompadour Chris. I get more? How many concussions can we give people today? Uh, apparently plenty. But Big Joe's up. Big Joe killed a man today. He's out for blood. I hope he doesn't do the Mike Tyson thing. This, this is an unfair fight. This is an unfair fight, considering those fists. Look at him. He's just dropping bullies. Like nobody's business. How are these people getting picked on when they're this powerful? Uh, really? What, what is it going to be? Is it going to be her? Her dad? Is she going to fight her dad? Charlene Baker, this temperamental girl is not daunted by anyone. Her jump rope, whip, and athletic build are unrivaled. Charlie is not the one to give second chances. She's got a whip. She's archaeology. And a power of redneck archaeology. She's also the acrobat of the group. I like I like her attack combos with her whip. It covers a very wide range. It's just a little weak. What, you haven't seen rednecks get beat up before? You know, complete disregard for human life? Also, girl beat up boys. Boys are in shock. Typical 80s. Yeah, the treehouse. There probably won't be any caricatures there. I also noticed... Uh, Matt? Matt? He's being porous again. I've noticed also other graphical problems with this game, but minor ones. Oh, there's Jim's a second. We, Charlie? You weren't there for that. I think, I think this uh, game glitched a little bit, and that was supposed to be Chris talking, but I forgot Charlie was uh, the leader. You know, you got the big Joe there. I think he was making a fat joke and kind of hitting on Charlie a little bit. I don't know. 
is this dude? Did he just fart? Did... Yes, yes he did. Yes he did. He's tooting alright. You know, you, you gotta respec. You gotta put your talent points into a better... synergy. Don't you know anything about being an adventurer, kid? It's easy for Charlie to get winded during a combo. Something tells me that's kind of illegal. That's a, a little bit, a little bit illegal. Do the cops not want to venture this far because of the redneck zone? Oh, yeah, um, yeah, rednecks. Rednecks. Take it in. We'll be out of the caricature so shortly. Don't worry. Are you offering alcohol to minors, sir? Oh, it's this again. Brandania and I forgot her other name already. Okay, he's passed out drunk. We can leave now. And hopefully never come back to that place again. You know, he gets drunk and starts a gladiatorial game where several people get you know, like very injured by Big Joe. Big Joe shows up there a lot. And, um, it, it, you know, if they're that redneck, you know there's going to be the little, um, the, 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 the race, the, the race isms going on there. Kevin found something rotting. It might be, maybe not. You know, he's like nine. You know, a pink summer storm? I've seen those. I haven't seen those, but have you seen a thunder snow? Oh, could we say that in an 80s cartoon? Could we say that? Oh no, you did. Oh no, you did. We had a fart joke and a poop joke. We have the fecal funny. Fecal funny alert. This place is ridiculous. Let's leave now. He's the fat kid. Squirrel. Can't get him. Squirrels are laser proof. Welcome to Lake Pompana. We got a pompadour. And Chris. Oh, more people to talk to. Chatting up the rednecks, you know. Eating burgers out in the park. Whenever I eat fast food, I want to eat it next to a lake. It's the same dialogue as before. Oh, there's more skulls. Yes, it's very nice. It makes me want to beat you up. Let's go romp through the forest. Like we do in the 80s. Chasing the squirrels. Looking for the secrets. There's a secret on this map. We're going to have to use all our abilities to go find it. I was kind of searching around for it, because I wasn't quite sure where it was. But I, I could find it relatively easily. We just have to let our powers combine. Form of climbing! And... Spiders! The size of small dogs! You're just like the rats! Don't let the spider bite you! Don't let the spider shoot the web at you! There's a spider web! Catches you. And then the spider bite. I'm concerned about this place. I'm, I'm concerned about the spiders coming out of the bush. They're ambush predators. Surely help us. Use your archaeology. What? What is wrong with this place? What is wrong with this place? 
There's something very wrong with this place. Do they attack the people that go out into the forest all the time? Is this a peaceful rest valley situation? Also, Charlie could lunch herself with her jump rope, because that's how jump ropes work. You'll see that shortly. Just exterminating spiders and getting prizes. It's Trek Wars 6, Spock's Return! On VHS! Trek Wars 6, Spock's Return. After destroying the Enterprise, Luke goes off in search of his old master, Yogurt, so he can master the Schwartz! The old Enterprise crew prepare for their final counterattack. Luke discovers that his master he seeks is none other than an ancient Vulcan from a different space-time dimension. Those, those sound familiar. Both those, that movie sounds like two other movies. And they're, they're trying to avoid a DMCA, a Devil May Cry. They're trying to make the devil not cry by not directly referencing it. Because Star Trek is a sad show for him. Yeah, this weird green. Is it weird? That's supposed to be green. But just like the mic problem that we have, sometimes green doesn't show up properly on OBS. But trust me, that was green, and we were supposed to hit it. You know, kid stuff. Finally, we found a Kevin! You don't even want to know, Kevin. You do not want to know. This has been a heck of a day. That's to say the least, Matt. Man, you're gonna freak out when you see it. it it's so cool. It's it's rotting. I brought it up into the treehouse, even though it's rotting. You know, if we, if we used a bicycle ourselves, Chris, we would have gotten here by now. Just saying. I'll go ahead and save. Sure. I'm hearing a slight crackle in the game audio as well. Man, this game just does not play well with OBS. Oh yeah, all friends welcome. Even the girls, because there's a girl on the team. We can't leave her out. Kawabunga, dude! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is until the 90s, though. Matt's doing science stuff, you know... In the treehouse. How did he get power up here? Ew! He's the fat kid. He eats anything. He's having elevenses. Big Joe is part hobbit. I don't believe you. I think anything melts in Big Joe's mouth. Like, it's super heated. He's just basically a trash compactor with legs. Hey, how about some plot? That seems like Chris, actually. Well, you know, I have some negative opinions about Matt currently. He's no Jeff. He is no Jeff. Sid's sister? Did she own the goat? Yeah, I know what you mean. He ties cowboys to rockets now. Oh, Big Joe. Big Joe, don't poop your pants again, please. Don't... How, did you actually, or was it just a fart joke? Was it... Why would you even ask that, Chris? Why would you even ask? You know, he was just trying to make conversation. I don't quite understand that saying. I don't see anything rotting in here. 
I do some, see some interesting things on the wall that I'm going to point out later. Well, you know, the, the rednecks need to entertain themselves somehow. So in their case, they recreate gladiatorial games. She, that means I love you. I've seen the Princess Bride. Like everything. Chris is making the moves. And she's into it. Here it is. I see Dragon Ball Z. Lightning Cats! Oh! It's definitely Thundercats. I see Dungeons and Dragons. Th these guys totally play Dungeons and Dragons. And collect troll dolls. They probably got into the Furby thing later in life. And probably Tamagotchi as well. I'm not quite sure what that thing is on the wall next to Dungeons and Dragons. There's Banana, California, and R23P3PO. R2D3PPO. <laughs> Pee -pee. Darn little brothers and getting in trouble, finding things that are rotten. What are you gonna show us? Where is it? Hey, look, we beat up punks today. And rednecks. And he called you a wuss too, Charlie. Well, go on, man. What is it all about? you said that several times now. You're gonna freak out. You won't believe it. You're gonna freak out. You're really hyping this thing up. You're still hyping it. Or we'll give you a wedgie. Okay, sounds uninteresting. A dead guy! A guy died, you guys! It's, is it related to the storm? Did he get struck by the lightning? Did he get attacked by the gigantic spiders? Do we live in Australia? I just thought of this. Are we... I, I'm like, I'm very, I'm still very concerned about the spider problem that we have here in Tajunga. Gigas is coming back and he already killed somebody. That's what I think this is. Scary. We might see a zombie. Oh, it, it's ripe. That weird green glitch. It's only that particular color green because it's not doing it to the banana sign. It's just that one particular shade of green that OBS just doesn't like. He's also bounceable. At least Charlie's on Kevin's side. Kevin Williams! This little troublemaker is full of surprises. His tiresome jokes and hyperatric nature are occasionally as powerful as bombs. Why it, it ruins everybody's life. Ew. Ew. Little brother powers. Yep, we have a new diary. We must see a dead body. Oh, and there's, uh, there's Chris. The typical ch chestnut got into debt, fell into alcohol, divorced by his wife. And now Charlie has got to do everything because he's always drunk and starting gladiatorial games with the other rednecks. Oh, and this profiles for Charlene, too. She converted a jump rope into a whip. Kevin Williams is a wuss, stupid, lousy and ugly. He's got the wor worst glasses than Matt. What are you looking at? 
Who lives out here? I thought this was all for- How does that guy- How does that guy get to work with the spiders? Ew. Kevin! I think you're adopted. I'm pretty sure you're adopted. I wasn't quite sure what I was delaying on there. I think I was still- Yeah, good job, buddy. You really did some damage to that can. I see a treasure chest. Not yet, but I will. It's another secret off the beaten path. There's that little weird alcove thing there. And a tutorial. Hey, do you know how to use items, even though you've gotten items like an hour before? Just tells you, hey, you can use the white button to heal yourself and do other things. And do the other things! That's the 60s. Let's see what we got. Lionel Richie! He, sh he kind of looks like Quincy Queen. Lionel Richie, greatest hits. Can't shave it, baby, seriously. Trackless, can't shave it, baby. Here's to pray for you, Fiesta Forever. Hello, is it Michael you're looking for? Sweet beardless dreams, lips like chops, I ain't a Commodore anymore, honey, and the ultimate mustache. It was on the top 50s list. Number one. For 253 weeks, the ultimate mustache. No one wants to talk about it anymore. It w the song was just so good that no one talks about it anymore. Because it would... It's like an earworm. It's kind of like one of those SCP things. If you hear it, you'll never forget it. I'm convinced it's the rat and spider problem in this area that killed this guy. Wherever this guy is. Because man, those things are aggressive! Oh no, more skulls. We really we really stirred them up, didn't we? It, you know, just stay perfectly still. The punks can't see you if you stay perfectly still. Well we could roll out the purple skulls, did it? I still think it was those giant spiders. Oh, way to go, Kevin. Was he now? We didn't mention anything about a dead guy. We're telling the cops we're going to frame it on you. Kevin's got some snark. I wonder if he could back it up with his farts. Or maybe his boogers. He's kind of like Booger Man, except a winkling and not interesting. And also, that is kind of ick humor. Punch him out, Big Joe. He'll give you a knuckle sandwich. It's got cranberry juice and pepperoni. Yeah, the police. You know, the people that don't really do anything around here, unless there's some kind of townright catastrophe. No, I don't know what you mean. Kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel with those two, aren't they? I wish. He doesn't do anything interesting. Come on, let's see that dead guy before the cops come. Ah, the fourth wall breaks. Hopefully that's the last that we see of them. It's kind of getting old. Randall! He's a coward! He wants to be in a gang with Quincy Queen. And that's it. He's a loser. Oh, this is looking like dead guy territory. This is where I would keep a dead guy. 
if I found one. And they did. It certainly a dead guy. And around this part is when I started regretting that I didn't save at the treehouse. Like I maybe should have had. Happy Halloween, everybody! We got a mummy on our hands! Okay! Thanks for that, Big Joe. And also for Attic. At least it wasn't that certain color of green, so it would come out black. Now his cranberry and pepperoni sandwich is all over the ground. He shouldn't have eaten before seeing the rotting body. We're freaking out, man! You, I mean, you could smack him anyway. You could smack him. I won't say anything. You got the reach. Oh. Deeper mystery. We found a magical artifact. Yeah, it's not technically stealing. As long as we don't take his wallet or any kind of personal information. Chris? I guess I'm the protagonist now. I like the animation, but I don't appreciate how many cuts that they put in it. Granted, they are... They are a lower-budget company. Apparently, the fragment of the Duat Stone. Well, we made it to the mystery. Man, it's a, it's owned by Ram Raisin the Thirteenth. Wait till the Summers Museum gets a hold of this thing. Well, I mean, they do have security cameras. They could definitely tell it wasn't five kids. They wouldn't just arrest you for just owning this thing. Especially if you turn it in right away. Not everything could be riches, Kevin. You have many years to learn about that. Hey, how about we do science on it? That sounds like a great idea. Let's science at the magical thing. Well, I've scienced the magical thing and I've learned everything there is to know about it because I'm the sciencey smart kid in the 80s. Also, it's made out of unobtainium. So it's magic. You know what Orson Welles said? I think it was Orson Welles. Or that other dude. Gary Kasparov. I like secrets. I've accessed the government. I used my hacking powers that all science kids have to hack the government. And I still couldn't find information about this thing.
Especially since you just hacked the government. How do you know this? How do you know this? You know, I, I scanned it on my Mac and Tom, and it said, Hey, this thing will drain your life force if you don't give it energy. It's a very sophisticated light bulb. It's the key. We, we're the key master. Where's the gatekeeper? Is this going to summon Gozer? Even though Gozer is Sumerian and not Egyptian? The legend of the Duat. Egyptian afterlife. We should know lots about the Duat. It's in La Mulana 2. It's in Spelunky 2. I could send you to the Duat dimension. We could go see Egyptian ghosts. We need to use gamma rays on it. Then we could science up a thing. It's always you in the gamma bars. Always you in those gamma bars. Matt, you're addicted to gamma bars. It's going to turn you into an incredible bulk one day. He'll become the fantastic bulk. Here, I'm trying to leave so I could go save somewhere, but no, doesn't work like that. You're in it for the long haul, Armor Chocobo. You're in it for the long haul. Nikola Tesla, please save me. I didn't know what I was getting into. Combustible material with a nuclear power of 1.21 gigawatts. Marty! Science montage time! Of course it's a cassette player. Of course it has to be a cassette player. Up, oh, up, oh, we went a bit too far. These aren't Egyptian ghosts. What did you do, Matt? What did you do? I told you the gamma rays are a bad idea. Cavemen! Did, do they see us? We can learn so much about cavemen! Wait a second, why is that one writing on a wall that clearly wouldn't have existed there in the past? Are they interacting with our world? I don't know if seeing ghosts will let you do that last part, Matt. It's like we're in some kind of 80s adventure. Like one of those movies that they're currently making. Oh, we have a dead dog. Just keep an eye out for some evil ghosts. Just in case there's evil ghosts. It just keeps going! You know what's going on here. We got bad guys. They want the stone. They want to do... evil... seeing ghost stuff. I don't know what they want the stone for. But come on, Major Oras is definitely a bad dude. He's got a big scar and his eyes are weird. Bronson's got a ponytail and a beard. You know he means business. And Buff McHugh strong over here. Heartless McBig muscles. You know he could he could punch half as hard as Big Joe can. Like, he'll have a legendary battle with Big Joe.
you know, the last time you, you, you punched somebody and they died immediately. Very unorthodox. It, it was just one clean chunk. He punched him in the stomach and it was just like a big knot of flesh came out. There's no bones, no organs. It was weird. You need to watch your heart pressure, Mr. Evil Man Guy. You can't do your evil plan if you die from a heart attack. Also, that scientist dude that had the duat, he was keeping it away from these folks. Dr. Spiegelman is going to be a Hojo. I definitely guarantee you that guy's going to become a Hojo or something. He's going to, like, re resurrect Sephiroth, give him all the Mako energy it ever needs, shoot it right through a weapon. This is where this game's going, right? Even though that's in the 90s and not the 80s. They were just four ordinary kids until they found a magical uh, orb thingy. And now bad guys want it for explosions, baseball bats, ghosts, archaeology, with musical guests, imagine dragons. This is Crossing Souls. There's still more. They're not letting me save yet. Clearly a different chapter has happened and they still didn't let me save yet. We know ghosts exist. No, the ghosts would not go in there. Big Joe, ghosts would not go in there when you're present. We can see the other world. That's why it's called Crossing Souls. There's souls and we cross over to them. Yeah! Lighthearted, whimsical 80s adventure starring ghosts and bad guys. You know the kids are gonna win today, the though. They always do. They're gonna surmount those unsurmountable odds with the help of a plucky little alien mascot thing. Ghost mascot thing. It could be the Sparky. Come on, they would have a ghost dog mascot, Sparky. He'd be going around doing ghost dog things, it'll be silly, it'll be funny, it'll be great. Let's go get our mascot. Luckily, the 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 the, the duop machine, homemade ultra low frequency electromagnetic field generator, and connector capable of interacting with the afterlife. I was gonna say when it was in duop mode. I'm glad it wasn't green. Well, that's it for now. Next time on Crossing Souls, we have a ghost machine. Good night, folks.